Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Unholy Vision, and today I'm going to show you three different ways of adding a new hard drive. Ultimately, the best solution, I would say, is the terminal, because if you mess something up in FSTAB, you know how to get through the TTYs and everything like that. So I'm going to start out with the GUIs first. We have Gparted on the right here, and GNOME Disk Utilities right over here on the left. But... Let's start out with Gparted. In Gparted, the drive selection is up at the top right up here. You'll have to know which drive is what. Obviously, from my account, you can see by the size of the drive. You just select the correct one. Make sure you select the correct one on any of these situations or you can delete your files. So we get our empty new drive right here. And we need to create a partition table. We select GPT, fly, let it do its thing. Press new. Select the size we wanted. If we wanted to do something like multiple partitions, we'd slide this over create it as a primary partition, ETC, all that, and then just kind of slide it around and add and create a new one on top of the new allocated space. So let's show an example. It would fill this up and then the unallocated space would do the same thing again and then just kind of add it. And the great thing about these GUIs right here like this or even in the terminal, honestly, you can, before you write to the drive it's not set in stone so we can always delete these if you don't want to do that but let's just fill this whole entire thing up and we can label these right here if we want to with the name so let's just say you want to do media right that's your media drive or music or whatever I'm not gonna label it, but there you go. That's the new partition. It's all set right here. Now to actually get it to write to the disk, you just hit apply. And it'll warn you, data loss. But we know this is the correct one. Let it do its thing. Now jumping over to GNOME Disk Utility. If you wanted to partition with this tool, just come in, find the drive, click the right one, obviously, so you don't delete any files, and press the little plus here. And again, with the same thing as we did before, you can allocate space based on how much you want to give, but we're just going to go with the full amount. We have to type a label in for this actual software. They won't. It won't let you bypass it. So, G drive, so like my game drive, right? And you can do a race if you want to. But that takes a little longer, but I'm not gonna do that for this since it's fresh drive. And you can lock it if you wanted to password it and do all this other encryption and whatnot. But I'm just gonna use regular EXT. For this example, you'd create, let it do its thing. Once it's created, it should look something like this. And the contents on the disk would be ext4 file system, and it's not mounted. All right, so in the terminal method, we need to find the device. So lsblk. This will show every drive in the system. Make sure you know what you're looking at. Like, see, slash home, that's mounted the root. That's the boot partition. Everything is sort of uh, treed out. So we need to get SDA right here. So now that we actually know what we're looking for, we need to sudo df disk slash dev slash SDA. Enter our password. So we need to actually create a new partition on this. What we'll be doing is new, 
Uh, on this one, you would just change the amount, put like seven gigs, seven megabytes, but we're going to do the whole amount. That's just if you wanted to make individual partitions. And then we just write it. Since we don't have to change the file system type, it's already set to be an ext4 by default. Yes. Now, everything should look like this once you've actually made the partition. Show it right here. And what we need to do next is actually make a mounting point for it. You can mount this just about anywhere, but I like to mount my actual hard drives in the mount folder. So I would sudo make dir slash mnt slash and then whatever you want to name the mounting point so g drive is what i'm going to call it so we've made the folder mnt g drive or whatever you named it and we can mount that now to it but it won't actually mount it uh permanently but if you wanted to just mount it real quick to see if it properly mounts this is kind of pointless, but you can do this. And if you wanted to actually not have it, not have it uh, mount every time you started the system and you just wanted a private like drive that you could just mount whenever you wanted, that's how you do it. And LSBLK would show you it's mounted to MNT G drive. And then whenever you wanted to actually unmount it, you would just sudo umount slash dev slash sda1. And then you just lsblk, and you can see it's unmounted. So if you wanted to do it this way, or just, you know, use that fol folder in general, and have permissions to that folder, we need to sudo jamod-r capital R U G O plus R W slash M N T slash G drive or whatever you named the actual folder. Just press enter afterwards and you should now have read and write permissions for that folder. And if you wanted to do it like I was doing previously and just mount it every time yourself that is an option and it will not show up unless you mount it and you have to click it or mount it in the terminal to make the system auto mount the disk every time you start the system we'll have to edit fstab you can mount it by slash dev and the sd whatever the letter and number is but the safest way to do it is knowing the UUIDs. If you're using the GNOME disk utility, it will tell you the UUID right here on that piece of software. If you're doing everything from the terminal, we would lsblk-f. And then what we do is look for SDA1 in my case, whatever yours is listed as, and just copy this. UUID. Now it's time to edit fstab. So sudo your preferred text editor, uh, pluma in my case, I'm going to use slash etc slash fstab. Inside of our fstab file, we'll have to create a new entry. What I like to do is either put the label, the mount point, or just the individual drive of what it is. In this case, so dev slash sda1 uuid equals and then that uuid we copied earlier we just paste that right into there hit your tab slash mnt slash g drive or whatever you named the folder that you're going to be mounting this to press your tab key twice ext4 
Press your tab key again twice, and then default. If this is a SSD, you'll want to do no A time. If it's not an SSD, real time. And then hit zero for space. And now it's time to make a massive decision here. You can put two or you can put zero on it. It really depends on your preference here. If you want FSCK, uh, the file system check, or to actually be checking the file system at boot. The rule of thumb is to have your root system as one and then all the other ones after it to be two. If you don't want it to check at, at the beginning, you can just hit zero. You do put two. That's up to you. And then just hit put it in and then hit your save key and close it out. It's time for you to do a reboot. So sudo reboot. So you start up your system and you open your file manager and the actual drive isn't there. What you need to do is slash MNT and then find G drive and just drag it right over here. And there you go, you have a shortcut. So whenever you want to get to that folder, you can just click on it and you're good to go. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit your monitor real hard on that bell button to crack it. And we'll be uh, seeing you in the next video. This is Unholy Vision signing out.